So this is a mall in China that is quite interesting. It is 11 stories tall and similar to Kowloon Walled City, except it's <laughs> quite wealthy. But it's very, very compact. There's no windows. It's just one solid block of building. And it's really gorgeous, really interesting architecture. It's 450,000 square feet, which is the equivalent of about 25 hexagons. And um, this is something I would love to replicate in Arcology, something I would love to have Arcology kind of emulate. Um, once again, it's a tourist attraction, so it's very crowded, a bit too crowded. Some of the hallways are a, a bit too thin, like this one. This hallway is, what, six feet? <laughs> so, maybe less. Um, so Arcology can limit the tourism, and also Arcology, in most of my um, models, my mathematical models, is 75% residential. This is 100% commercial. So keep that in mind, it's 100% commercial, it's a tourist attraction, and it's very compact. It doesn't have the space, it doesn't have the volume that Arcology will have. Arcology will have volume upon volume upon volume. Now look at this area, this area is pretty interesting. This is, um, there's no windows, the hallways are a little too small, they're a bit too small. In Arcology, you're probably going to have hallways like two, three times wider with maybe one-fifth of the people, because once again, this is a huge tourist attraction. But it's amazing how everything is themed. There's a 2076 theme in that quick area that we just walked by. And everyone kind of is, kind of decorates accordingly. Um, but imagine like this having a fifth of the people, two times wider hallways, maybe three times wider hallways, <laughs> uh, designated loitering areas, 75% residential, quieter, comfortable, but with the same level of color, with the same level of creativity, with the same level of eye candy. It is wild. Um, it's just like, th this would be an example of freestyle roads. There's freestyle roads and there's transit roads. Transit roads are regulated, they're straight. They go from roundabout to roundabout. This would be a freestyle road, because you kind of get lost. You don't know where you're going. There's little tunnels, little corridors. But it's, it's, it's such a, it's like an adventure. You know, you just kind of, um, you just get lost in the building and there's layers upon layers another thing too these are all one story notice how the ceiling is one story in arcology the ceiling is three stories think about that so you have 70 in arcology you have 75 percent residential you have three story ceilings you probably have one fifth of the people because uh it's it's a, a city not a tourist attraction this is a mall so, but, but still, the, the variety of shops, the variety of activities, the colors, the LEDs, everything is really, um, I think, an inspiration. And then when you get outside, notice when you get to the rooftop, everything is the traditional Chinese architecture, which is gorgeous and all of the lighting is coordinated once you get outside and uh when you get inside everything's up to the shopkeep it's up to the the shop owner and when they have that low level control when everyone has that low level control over their space then you get freedom you get variety you get spontaneity you get just really interesting gorgeous things <coughs> and this is um, not an exact replica of Arcology, but it's really where I want Arcology to go. Now you're at the outdoor area. See, this is more like the rooftop. You've now entered the rooftop or the rooftop equivalent. And look at how gorgeous that is. 
it's just everything is just eye candy what what really breaks my heart a little bit with this whole scene is it's 100 percent consumerism because it's a mall it has to be <laughs> but in arcology once again 75 percent residential so um you don't have this consumerist tourism kind of feel which i think takes away from the beauty imagine how beautiful it would be if it didn't have that consumerist like loud atmosphere and it was more so it was slower it was more comfortable there are more neighbors more neighborly so here's the rooftop again just gorgeous oh my god it's gorgeous and the see how the the rooftop is synchronized all of the styles are synchronized on the roof it has greenery on the roof it has stone that's real stone a waterfall probably a fake waterfall but why not how much does a water pump really cost? Come on, guys. So, um, look at another walking right through the waterfall. Look at this. They're going across rocks with the waterfall and a bridge above their heads next to the waterfall. This is what the roof of our college would look like. And, you know, five minutes ago, they were in that cyberpunk 2076 area, <laughs> right? And this is the goal. This is the dream. This is the vision. Just with less people, a lot less people, <laughs> and 75% residential. But look at that exterior, gorgeous. Everything's golden too. Everything has that like amber hue to it. Uh, this is like an outdoor mall. Once again, a little bit, like, just too much consumerism, too many people. But. You can just scale everything down, slow everything down, and then that's the arcology vision. Really, really gorgeous stuff. And this is, I mean, look at that food, so much food, restaurants everywhere. There's, There should be more restaurants. There's kind of like a lack of sit-down areas. But in arcology, you would have more sit-down areas because you have more volume to work with. And you have much more volume. The rents are going to be lower. The, it's probably a ton to, to rent a, a spot in such a busy tourist area. But that is an overview of the vision. That is something to behold. And now hopefully people understand just exactly what I'm talking about. I know it seems so distant and so weird and so... Um, unattainable compared to suburbia, compared to car culture, compared to <laughs> the lifestyle that the United States has. But there it is. It's thriving. It's flourishing. People love it. This is a tourist attraction. People come from China, all over China, to, to visit this one mall. Now imagine an entire city like this, and you live in that city. This is, this is your home. It's just so beautiful, and I can't wait to make it a reality. Anyway, that's it for this one, and remember, a single dream is more powerful than 1,000 realities. A real human.